I'm David from PowerSpark and we need to talk about ballast resistors. Okay, so what is a ballast resistor and why is it so important? Well, basically, it's a current limiting device which lowers the voltage supplied to the coil and therefore allows you to use a coil optimised for a lower voltage. Great. What's the point of that? Well, the clever part is, when you're cranking the engine on the starter motor, the ballast resistor is bypassed and you get the full available voltage, usually about 10 volts or so. So, how do you know if your car's got a ballast resistor? Well, if it was made in the 60s or 70s, it could well have. Later MGB GTs with the rubber bumpers, they have ballast resistors as did Stags, lots of 1970s Fords, lots of Japanese cars and Minis from the 80s. But if you want to know for sure, then you're probably going to have to look for one or test for one. And for that, we need to go to the workbench. Okay, so you can see that we've got 12 volts going into this side of the ballast resistor. The other side's connected to the positive side of the coil. You can see on the multimeter, we're reading 12.77 volts. But what if I was to connect the multimeter to the other side of the ballast resistor? You'd expect to see about six volts, but no, it's still 12.77. So what's going on? Well, you'll remember I said that the ballast resistor was a current limiting device. So what we have to do is flow some current through it. So we will earth the negative side of the coil to complete the circuit. Straight away, you see that voltage is reduced, and that's the ballast resistor doing that. So, just to recap, to test to see if you've got a ballast resistor, measure the voltage at the positive side of the coil whilst you're earthing the negative side of the coil. If you find you've got a ballast resistor, you need a 1.5 ohm coil, such as the Viper VC110. You haven't got a ballast resistor? Go for the 3 ohm Viper VCS. One more thing, if you've got an old Volkswagen like this, they never have ballast resistors. Thanks for watching.